Hey everyone, and welcome to part one of my color and chat for The Beauty of Horror 3. Finally, I'm getting around doing this. There's been like so many delays and so many like pushed offs for this, but we are going to be doing this page here in the front. We're going to be doing this one right here, the ticket booth. I was originally going to be doing the Wacka Soul page on this side, but I can't film on this side because, of course, the books are here, and if I do it this way, on the other side, I sit with a lot of my light. So, we're going to do this one. And I was trying, I'm going to try doing the books from front to back. I did jump ahead and I did start one page in the back, which I hope to finish up soon. But I started this mermaid picture here. I did it while the hurricane was going through because I just want something kind of fast and easy. But we're going to start on him here. And I'm not going to, this is like my color lines. So I'm going to show you how I do everything, but I'll call it. And I'll say the colors that I'm using that way if you want to color along you can but I'm, I decided I'm going to use my Arteza pencils because I want to see how they work on this paper I'm using I've only used Prisma on this paper so I want to test out my Artezas but I'm going to use pear matcha and moss for his coat and pants so let me get into situation here as I can put in here and zoom in there we go so I hope that everyone is having a I just see like a reposition because of how long a pencil is. Hope that everyone is having a good day. It is currently right now it is two, Monday night. We're going to be on Tuesday. But um, I will probably see this later on in the week because I have um, the finale of my color along for the Fantasia by Nicholas F. Chandra Vianata going up. I had that pre-filmed. For the hurricane fiasco going on um so i wanted to get that up and finish before i do anything other uploads um i up i uploaded a video tonight just like announcing you know that everything was fine and everything like all my family and everything that were fine everything that threw out the whole storm but that was like a quick 10 minute video and then tomorrow i will upload um I have uh, a book vlog I did over the weekend for the storm. Like I did like um, part of a read along and I'm going to try vlogging my reading on the weekends um, to kind of keep myself, I wouldn't say like responsible for reading, but keep myself on track of reading for the weekend because my reading, as you know, has been kind of slumpish. So I want to go ahead and... Um, start vlogging on the weekends it keeps me kind of more accountable for my reading and it keeps me wanting to read more and because I want to update and stuff like that so I'm going to start doing that and that was like the first time and I figured since I can't really I couldn't film and upload stuff like that because even though we didn't lose power or anything like that with the strength of the strength of the wind and all that kind of stuff it would have been like super super noisy um for recording and stuff like that so I was I wasn't able to call I do like any kind of like coloring recording or anything like that so I was like I'm just gonna rec I record for my book channel this weekend and then I'll just like start back up this week so that's what I'm doing um and it's nice to be back and be able to um film stuff again and not have to worry you know about the storms and everything like that and the storm actually was not very bad it was mostly, you know, windy and rainy and stuff like that, but for the most part, the it was just long and annoying, mostly. Like, it lasted, we were feeling effects of it Wednesday, Wednesday night, and then um, Thursday's when, like, the stuff started moving in, and then Friday, Saturday, and Saturday was, like, the wood tile was moving away, but then, like, Sunday when we got like the last little bits of the storm and Sunday was actually like the worst day of it all we had like tornado warnings and, like flood warnings going on all the time so we were all safe um we decided to stay here in the apartment and the family friend we we're gonna stay with was fine that's where actually the storm moved to his area more like went over directly like his area more and Luckily, you know, like, we made the choice beforehand to stay, so we made the right choice, you know, and it was just, you know, a long, kind of, like, drawn-out thing, like, the internet stayed on, so I was catching up on, um, videos, and I was catching up on different shows, stuff like that, and trying to read as well, and I 
ended up finishing a book and all that kind of stuff. But I'll talk about that if you're interested more in the um, book channel video. But I finished up um, A Darker Shade of Magic by Lee Schwab, which is a adult um, science fiction fantasy. It's more fantasy, but there's science fiction elements into it. And it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it and I highly recommend it if you're in that type of books. Um, but I did that and now I'm starting the second one. All right, like I jumped right into it. My library had it and I was like, I am reading this series and I'm going to be reading more um, in the next uh, week or so of that book. And then hopefully by the weekend, I'll almost have it finished so I can go and move on to the third book, um, which is I think A Conjuring of Light. So, so far these pencils are actually working really, really well. Um, I will say what I'm going to do with this um, color and chat is I'm going to do his pants and his jacket the whole time. So if I reach the half hour limit, like a half hour time stamp that I usually stop at, I will go ahead and finish his coat and jacket and stuff like his jacket and pants up off camera. And then just come on and show you like the way it is done because it's going to be the same process as what I'm doing here now, you know? So, um... I just wanted to say that because I will probably do that off camera tonight or tomorrow. Um, but I'm really liking how these, um, how the artistas are working on this pencil, on this paper. The only paper I know that they have trouble on is the Hannah Carlson and the um, Maria Trolle uh, books or Troll uh, books. Um, I'm gonna be doing a video on them because someone asked me how to do like a, like a kind of like tips and tricks for how to do them on that paper. So I will be doing a video on that. Just you know that I got pushed off because of the storm, but it's I'm back now, so I'll get to doing that. But um, tonight I'm just gonna be filming this, and then I'm going to be going to bed because everyone in my family is like running on like steam basically from the storm because it was more of like a stressful thing, you know. But it's like the wind and stuff like that was so strong and stuff like that, and. It was just more of like how long it lasts because usually a hurricane lasts it blows through stuff like that within like a day or two not like four or five days you know so i just hope that you know there's no more of the season and if they are like they're just like go out to like ocean and stuff like that like they stay out in the ocean and all that kind of stuff because it's just an annoying part of living in the south, you know, and living, you know, like on the, in the south near the ocean, you know, um, but yeah, just hope that that's the end for us for the season, you know, for the east coast of season and everywhere else this season, that's just kind of a quiet throughout the rest of the rest of the hurricane season, which only is like another month, like it ends, I think, the first week or two of November, so... See, it's nice to be able to color in this book again, and I, I haven't, actually, like, I've been really not coloring with markers lately, or not markers and pencils lately, I've been coloring with, like, markers a lot lately, so it's, like, it's really nice to actually, like, work in this book, because whenever I feel like coloring, I don't gravitate towards, um, pencils right now, like, I just gravitate towards, um, wanting to use markers and, like, chill pens, stuff like that, so it's, like, I haven't really colored with pencils that much like that's why this book this page in the back here has only has like the um bumper car done and then the other one only has a little bit of um the mermaid done because like i just whenever i want to color so like, i don't gravitate towards taking out the pencils and stuff like that so i just been coloring a lot with markers and i've been doing a lot of pictures in the romantic country the first tale i decided that um my extra copy was going to be like a markers and gel pens and like fine liars type of book and it was like acrylic paints for the background so like that as well but I was going to primarily use um markers and stuff like that and I have been doing like a lot in that book and I've been really enjoying it so that's what I've been gravitating towards doing that so I'm not gonna like tell myself no and have to use pencils that's why kind of like it took me so long to do this and if I have a feeling if this book was like single sided, I probably would have done this already because I would just use, I would have used like Sharpies and then like um, put like a base layer of like Sharpie down, like markers over it or pencil over it, I mean. But it's not, so. But I'm really happy that I am doing this now. And I like how these work. 
I do say I like the prisms a little bit better on this paper, but so far these are working out good, so we shall see how it all goes. Um, it kind of feels weird, it's really like I'm like jumping back into this again, so it's like I feel like I'm like lost, like the recording mojo type of thing, but um, it's nice to you know like record as well, so like that again, but it just feels weird after not recording for the weekend, you know, you kind of like go from like doing it like every every day, like every other day to like skipping out for like three, four, five days, or like almost like four or five days now. Just like, it feels weird to jump back into things. I think that was the, yeah, that's the last one, okay. Lost track pencils there. And I know I'll probably be calling a lot, I'll have to like tell myself to get out of the, out of the, on the marker mood and get back in the pencil mood because with October coming up, I know a lot of pictures in this book and the first book that will be perfect for the month of October because the whole books are perfect for the month of October. Um, so I'll definitely try to get a lot more of this done in this uh, in the month of October because it's a perfect month to do so. This slides are ever so slight so that I don't keep hitting the books. So yeah, that was a long weekend. I got some reading done, got some coloring done, mostly just played games, kept an eye on the radar, you know, all the kind of stuff you just do during a thunderstorm and that just like a, because a hurricane really is just like a long thunderstorm basically. And I watched movies, I watched some horror movies, and I found my all-time my all-time new favorite horror movie. If you have Netflix and you like horror movies and you don't mind um, clowns in the horror movies, because I know some a lot of people aren't like very um, fond of clowns, you know, it's like that. But if you don't mind them and you like them, I want to get a drink. And you don't mind um like bloody horror movies, then I would highly, highly recommend you watch Terrifier on Netflix. It is really, really good. It's a spin-off movie of the All Hallows Eve series, but you do not have to watch the All Hallows Eve series in order to watch Terrifier. But um, if you like Terrifier, I would recommend watching, going back and watch Terrifier movie, or the um, All Hallows Eve movies. The only reason, oh way it's a spin-off of it is because the um, killer of the movie is Art the Clown, um, who is kind of like a very goofball-y killer. You know, it's like, you don't want to meet him, but at the same time, you know, he's funny in what he does and what tries to do. Like, for horror standards, he's funny, you know? But I watched it and I fell in love with it. Like, that is honestly my new favorite horror movie out there. I plan on buying a DVD of it um, because I really, really, really enjoyed it. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend Terrifier on Netflix. And I know probably over the next month, I'll be talking about a lot of horror movies because usually in the month of yeah, October, I will only watch horror movies on like Netflix, stuff like that. And I know Netflix is premiering the new Sabrina the Teenage Witch TV show, which is called The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Teen uh, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. I don't think it's a teenage witch, it's just Sabrina now. Um, and it's a spinoff of sorts of Riverdale. And it is supposed to be just like more horror themed. And I am so excited. I've seen the trailer for it and I like already fell in love with the show. Like I know it's going to be a, one of my favorites. And I just really, really, really am happy that it's going to be premiering in October because I can finally see it. And then another one of my favorite Netflix shows got renewed, which is Slasher. Um, that one got renewed uh, for season three. I'm sad that it's not going to be airing in October, at least that I know because it hasn't been announced or anything like that. So it's going to be weird watching that in a different season because all of them in the past have aired um, during like the, the Halloween season, you know. But... I will still watch it and very much enjoy it. And then um, American Horror Story has started again. And that season, if you have not seen it, that season is amazing so far. It's American Horror Story Apocalypse now. Um, it is the, a sequel slash crossover season of um, Murder House and Coven, which is season one and three. Um, from what I hear and 
all that kind of stuff. You do not have to, um, on oh, this little fuzzy thing on the camera, um, you do not have to watch the stuff. I would still recommend you watch season one and three before season 10, just because you'll be able to understand the characters and stuff like that. Because there is, um, a character, excuse me, hiccup, that he plays a big part in the season and he is basically one of the like continuation characters from season one. So without spoilers, I would say definitely go ahead and check it out. Um, season one and three, um, if you want to, like, if you haven't seen that already, I would recommend that because it is a crossover and like kind of like a sequel series to that series, those two series, series, seasons. Um, but um, it's really good so far. And we recently signed up for um, PlayStation View, which we have a PlayStation 4 in the living room. And um, PlayStation View is basically their TV service. And FX was one of the channels listed, so we were able to watch it. We missed the first episode, but it was on on demand, the on demand feature. So we watched it today, and it's just so so good. We ended up watching um, a bits of it on um, a live stream of it, like someone was like streaming it on TV and stuff like that. And then we were able to watch a little bit of it, but we weren't able to see all of it. Um, but now we were able to watch it live, so we caught up on it in the first episode. And tomorrow is the second episode, so I am really excited about that. And on that PlayStation View, they also have um, sci-fi, so we can watch Channel Zero, which is another good horror anthology series. If you're into that kind of stuff, it's um, it's different story each uh, each season, and there's only like six episodes. Um, the first season was called um, Cabin Cove, I think. It was I think it was Cabin Cove, and then. The second season is called the No End House, which that one was probably the best one so far that I've seen out of the two. And then season three, we my family did miss, but we're gonna me and my mom are gonna rewatch it now because it's on there on the on demand section, and we are gonna be watching that. And it's called Butcher's Block. From what I've seen and heard, it looks kind of like a mix of um, Alice in Wonderland, like a horror Alice in Wonderland. Um, if like is a, if like uh, Wonderland was filled with like cannibals and stuff like that, you know. So I think that's gonna be a really good one and creepy because that series, in my opinion, the creepy factor of it is like ten times creepier than American Horror Story, in my opinion. Because American Horror Story and has gone a lot like very campy, which I don't mind because I love campy horror. That's why I like Terrifier because it was very very campy, but. With Channel Zero, it's a lot more based on the horror and scaring you and everything like that. Um, which I am happy about. So, yeah, that was where we watched that. And then next month, um, the new season has starts. I don't remember the name of it, but it looked good from what I remember I seen of it. So, let's zoom me back out so you can get a glimpse. That is what the pants look like with the Artezas. I think they work, they work pretty good on the paper make sure you know it's not going through with pushing a hard pressure or nothing like that with the back sides here so they work pretty good and of course you can't really tell in the back it's like you won't push through that let's just zoom you up a little bit closer here to this and grab our drink my throat has been really really dry since that storm passed through all of the pollen and stuff like that just breezes through So by the time, let's see, we have 11 minutes, so we might be able to finish most of the coat um, on camera. I am not sure. Let's zoom me back in. Go right about there. So yeah, and then of course we are in the season of TV shows returning. So now that we have, um, now that we have the PlayStation View, which is live TV, it's our uh, TV subscription service basically. We have, I think it's like 54 channels I think on there. Most of the channels that we watch TV shows on are on there, so we're going to watch them live um, next week. Um, let's see if I can remember. Well, tomorrow night, it's American Horror Story and Tall Divas is back, which is the reality show about the WWE Divas. Me and my mom really loved that. We haven't watched it for a few seasons, but I seen that was on, and that E, the channel that's on, is 
um, e, um, which is like e and an exclamation point. And I seen that I was on, I was like, well, why don't we try and see how it is? We haven't seen it since like season like five, I think, and like season eight now. So it might be a little weird, you know, but one of my favorite, one of my favorite people are back on there, which is Paige. Um, she's kind of like a gothic wrestler, or she was. Um, I think she's retired now because she had a neck injury. Um, but I really like this show, so we're going to watch it and see how it is. It comes on before American Horror Story, so why not? And then, of course, American Horror Story is back. And then next week starts all of our shows again. The Good Doctor is back. Um, Empire is back. Grey's Anatomy. Um, How to Go With Murder is back. Um, and then I think next month, The Connors comes back, which I, my parents want to watch it. Like, we watched the Roseanne reboot when it came back because we were, like, big fans of Rose the show when it was, like, aired on the, when it used to air and stuff like that. But I don't know how I'm going to like the new sh the new season the way it's going because of, I think, if I want to follow, like, the news, you know, the debris, the, uh, the Roseanne uh, fiasco that happened, you know, um, that, all that horrible stuff and everything like that. And they ended up firing her. And now her character is going to be dying of an opiate or an opiate overdose. Um, so it's going to be a little weird. And if you watched last season, you know she had kind of struggles with that. So it's going to be like kind of weird to see the same set and see it like that without the character. But my parents want to watch it, so I figure I'll give it a chance, you know, and give it a try. See how it goes, you know. But we did that, and we ended up getting rid of Hulu and um, Amazon Prime, because Amazon Prime, besides the free two-day shipping, it's not really worth it. Like, the shows on there are just not really good. The only thing that was good on there was Doctor Who, and while I'm going to miss not being able to, like, pull up a Doctor Who episode whenever I want, I'm going to buy the, the DVD sets eventually. Um, so I figure... Why, you know, why keep it just for Doctor Who? Because that's all, besides some, like, really bad horror movies on there, and I mean really bad ones, they're, like, maybe, like, D-class, not B-class, you know, um, why keep it, you know? So, figured, why not go ahead, just get rid of it, and we will, I'm going to get rid of Hulu, because we had a live TV thing now, so, figured, why not save the money and get Hulu again next, um, next year when Castle Rock returns, so, me and my mom are finishing up the last three or four episodes that we need to watch, and then we are done with Hulu. And then, it's just all the live TV stuff now. But I'm happy when this season comes back, because, like, we don't really watch, like, too many TV shows. Like, we like to have, like, a show going at nighttime, you know? But, like, we don't, like, watch, like, it all day long type of thing. We just, like, have, like, one show, like, at nighttime. That is, um... Like the stuff that we watch, like each, like we watch like one, like one to two hours of shows each night. It turns out so slight like, pencils hitting. Um, but we don't like watch like a lot of TV. Like I prefer to, like my TV is YouTube. My TV is YouTube and Twitch. Like I like to watch video game streams because that's one off all. Luckily, all my internet plays. Luckily, it still works, you know. Um, and YouTube videos. So, like, I, that's, like, my TV to, uh, to me, um, but, like, my mom and dad like to watch TV, like, to, like, to put it on as background noise, like, my mom likes as for more as background noise and stuff like that, and my dad likes to watch more TV over movies, so having that, like, the live TV uh, feature is good because, um, we just watch our shows now live instead of the night before, the only thing with the shows we have to wait, um, the night, um, the night, the day after, is with ABC, which is going to be Grey's Anatomy, How We Get With Murder, and The Good Doctor, because on the PlayStation View, it's called it's PlayStation VE, uh, v -U -E, um, and they have like different like things. So, like it's like eight dollars a month for everything. You get like all sports channels and movie channels, like HBO and stars and like that. We did not do that. We only got the forty-five dollar a month one because. It was tempting to get the fifty dollar one, the, uh, the fifty dollar one each month, because uh, that that bracket has um, Hallmark on it. But I prefer having Hallmark Movies and Mystery Channel, 
over the regular Hallmark. Because I love the Hallmark movies, but for five dollars more, I wasn't gonna pay just for like for a heart on it for Hallmark. You know, I love their movies, especially the Christmas movies. Um, but if I need my Christmas movie fix, I will read a whole bunch of Harlequin movie or Harlequin books for Christmas books because I'm gonna do that again this year. Anyways, I did that last year and it was so much fun. I read, I think. 13 um, Harlequin Christmas novels last year, and it was just so, so good. And it was just get, got, got, got me right in the Christmassy mood, and I loved it. Um, so I probably will do that again this year. I need to find and figure out a horror book to read this um, Halloween or this, uh, this October. I might go to my shelf and pick out um, um, a Stephen King novel because it's been a little bit since I read a Stephen King book. And I do own all of his works, so... And I did start The Talisman, a lot of people were recommending it, and I... I don't know, it wasn't grabbing me, so I did set it back down. So I think I'm going to pick up... I'm going to start reading all the Castle Rock novels, I think. And I think, um... The Dead Zone is the first one, I technically, but I, want, I think I really want to read Cujo. So I might read Cujo. I'm not sure though. And I'll pick the talisman up again in the future. Just for the time being, it just was not calling out to me, and I didn't want to like force myself to read it, you know. But I'll pick it up because I did think it was interesting. The premise of it was very interesting, you know. Because I like re I re look at more like reviews on it, and, like I looked at when well, I was looking at the synopsis. Cause I added on Goodreads, you know. I was like, you know, this does sound very interesting. It's just it's not calling out to me at this moment. So, that's the thing with Stephen King novels. I can't read a Stephen King novel if it's not calling out to me. I think, like, you know, like, there's other books that you can, like, not force yourself to read, but you can, like, tell yourself, you're going to read this book, you know, whether it's calling out to you right now or not, you're going to read it, you know. Like, um, there's, I, I haven't done it for a while because I've been, like, in, like, a uh, mood reading lately, you know, but, like, I have been... Like, in the past, I would tell myself, you know, like, you're going to read this book in this month, during this week, and you're, you're just going to read it, you know. And I've done that, and I've forced myself through it, and I liked it. You know, I've, there's a lot of books that I could say are on my favorite lists that I made myself make time to read, you know. But with Stephen King, I can't do that. Like, if I am not feeling a Stephen King book within the first... 30, 40 pages, I would say, I have to set it down, because if not, I'm not going to like it. Like, I did that with Rose Matter, because there was a readathon that was going on, and I wanted to be a part of it, um, and I hate that book. <laughs> like, that is the only Stephen King book that I hate with, like, a burning passion. That book for me was, that I just hated it. So I, I'm going to revisit in the future but when, I, when the mood hits, but I'm not going to force myself to read one of his books because I don't want to hate him, you know? He's my favorite author, and I don't ever hate one of his books by my favorite author, you know? So that is going to be something like what I just gravitate towards my shelf and see like what is calling out to me. So we are at the 30 minute mark, the 28 minute mark, 30 minute mark, and this is what we got so far done. I am going to finish up his coat here and the sleeves here. Anything that is not this white stripes, like, if we zoom in, if you're coming along, this part here, it's going to be green, and then this little line here is closest to his hand, and right here, well, oh, that's part of his cuff, yeah, that's right there, that's going to be green, and this line here, and this line here, it's going to be different colors, leave them bare if you're coming along, and once again, if you're coming with Artezas, I did use pear for the lightest color, moss for the medium color, and, or, matcha is the medium color, matcha is medium, and for the darkest is moss. So I really, really love how this came out, kind of like, what I was going for was the combination I used in Prismas here. On the, on these, um, pants here, I tried to go for like a corduroy look, I think it does look better in the Prismas, I think a lot of stuff looks better in Prismas with combinations, but I do like how this turned out, it's like a different version of it, but I do like this, and they feel nice on the page, not feeling waxy. I don't see any lines through here. Nothing like that, so 
that is good. So that is it for part one of my color along for the Beauty of Horror 3 by Alan Robert. I will see you all in the next part. I'll try to be able to film this more often because I really I do love this book and I don't know why, but I just haven't gravitated towards pencils for a while. So that is it for today's video. I hope you all have an amazing day. And once again, thank you all so for the well wishes and the prayers during the hurricane. It meant a lot. So until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day and happy coloring.